Hey everyone, welcome back to Instagram. It's Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday. It's Throwback Tuesday. We have a TT every day. It's Throwback Tuesday. World of Warcraft is back. Yes, it's time to party like it's 2004. Baron's chat is back. General chat's back. Chuck Norris jokes are back. Long Q times are back. How can we ruin someone's funeral? I don't, that was a thing. Yes, anyway. you can. With an airing of Shrek 2 and the Double Outcast, Outcast album. Hey, yeah. Uh, we're gonna listen to it. Listen to the lyrics. Shake it like a picture. They're actually really sad. So, right there. yeah, two years after Blizzard announced that a classic version of the game was coming back, D-Day finally arrived last night. Mm -hmm. Just like the old days, lots of people immediately noticed long queue times to get in. Quest givers being swamped and starter mobs getting killed immediately. Everything old is new again and it's as good as it ever was. The one weird thing that did not come back is that bug where you like go down to loot something and then you're just stuck skating around on your knee. They should have brought that back, is all I'm saying. The relaunch of Vanilla WoW brings it back to the same state it was in mid-2006 before the launch of the Burning Crusade expansion. Yeah, to get really specific, the version was built using patch 1.12, aka Drums of War, that released on August 22nd, 2006. Yeah, that's the one with Blackrock, I think. Yeah, why, why that one, Brian? Well, Blizzard says that patch represents Vanilla WoW at its most feature complete, basically the best old version. It was the most stable, the most balanced. That's the one they wanted to go with. That okay. makes sense. Yeah, sure. player levels are capped at 60, and the mechanics of the original are back just as they used to be. That also means only the eight original races and nine classes are available. I'm sure people will start complaining for those pretty soon. It also means that Stranglethorn Vale is a valley of broken dreams just like it used to be. God bless. So it's a far cry from the current World of Warcraft, but it turns out people were into it because apparently the new World of Warcraft sucks. The game immediately shot to the top of Twitch at one point last night, peaking at 1.1 million viewers. <laughs> that is the kind of viewership that you usually only see during special events or something people pay for. This is a special event. We all get to roll back the clock for a little bit. Pretend like we don't live in a godforsaken wasteland of having a job and student loan debt. So that's a weird thing though. The mid 2000s, I'm not gonna lie, sucked, all right? Nothing good happened then except World of Warcraft. So okay. we don't wanna roll everything back. We don't want Catwoman. We don't want the killers. They're fine. You can leave those where they were. I like the killers. I actually do too. That's the <laughs> one thing I could think of that represented the mid 2000s. Twitch oh. wasn't separating out WoW Classic from the current version. They're both under World of Warcraft. But if you look at the game stats for last month, it averaged under 50,000 viewers on Twitch. Yeah, it makes sense where those numbers come from. Yeah. So it's very safe to assume that most of these viewers were coming from people watching WoW Classic. Oh, you mean people don't want to watch Modern World of Warcraft? Uh, uh, hey guys, maxed out my stat on my Death Knight Orc bitch. I gotta level up this jewel. Okay, I did. Now it's time to start over again. Of course, this massive influx of people quickly overwhelmed Blizzard servers, as well as the starting areas for those lucky enough to even get into the game. Yeah, tell us more, Brian. Some people reported having to wait hours to get in. I was one of those people, I can confirm. One player even tweeted a screenshot of a 15 plus hour queue, <sighs> which is insane. It's good to be back. Blizzard was actually warning about this because people were pre-registering for servers and just like Vanilla WoW, everyone wanted to be on the one big server. You have these giant online communities that all want to be together. It's pretty crazy though too, because it seemed like the servers were filling up basically as fast as Blizzard could open them. Weirdly though, this brought out the best in some people. Lots of people shared in-game shots of well-behaved players queuing up to kill bosses, Aww. just like the old days. Yeah, yeah, and even today, people were headed back for more. The launch fever is passing, but we're still in it. When we checked Twitch this morning, WoW still had more than 590,000 viewers, putting it far ahead of the number two game, Fortnite, which had just a fraction of that, about 109,000 viewers. Boo, take that, I'm sure this will be forever. Your older brother's back and he's ready to grind. <laughs> Oh, punch Fortnite in the back of the spine, like uh, just like a little way too hard, but not so hard that you can really complain about it. Watch out, little one. Cody's back, and he has half a college degree. Cody's got a, a mullet, and he is mean. This has been a long time coming for fans who have been wanting a taste of vanilla wow goodness. Yeah, the good old days, basically. Obviously, World of Warcraft is an institution. You don't need us to tell you that. It's been around for almost 15 years, which means it's almost old enough to drive, unless you're Cody. He was driving when he was 10 because he had to go to work in the coal mine. Cody was awesome. That goes for middle school and high school and high school the second time when he had to repeat it. <laughs> the game itself has gone through a ton of changes since then, right, Brian? Oh yeah, it's had seven major expansions, countless patches and feature updates, but nostalgic players have been wanting Vanilla WoW for years now, especially since the Cataclysm expansion in 2010. You might remember that brought major changes to the original launch version of the game, completely wiped out some areas, making them permanently inaccessible. That even led to some people starting up private servers to try and bring back the OG version of, oh, the whole feeling nostalgia, you know? Most notably the, how do you say this? Nostalrius. Nostalrius, yeah. yeah. Nostalrius. Most notably the Nostalrius server, which started in 2015 and grew to 150,000 players and 800,000 accounts before it was shut down about a year later. Yeah, that, oof, what a <laughs> narrative there. It led to a petition of more than 230,000 signatures for old school legacy servers. Even the old original vanilla WoW team got involved. Mark Curran, the former World of Warcraft team lead, became the public face of the movement to bring back vanilla WoW. Curran even personally delivered the petition to Blizzard President Mike Morhine at the time. He champions a lot 
of causes for like old school gamers. Mm -hmm. That mm, that's all I'll say on that. Bring back floppies. The petition worked at least. A year later in 2017, they announced the good news at BlizzCon while Classic was coming back, amusingly after a few years saying that nobody actually wanted it. Yeah. Time to announce a new thing. It's old. So the response from last night of the game going live seems to even have an impact on Blizzard's stock price. Yeah, it's crazy how fast this is. I guess brokers are paying attention. Activision Blizzard stock was up today by almost 6%. That is not bad, especially by having the top game on Twitch. That can't hurt at all. And you're re-releasing an old game and it's making you money. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually really good news for Blizzard, which has been having a tough time lately. They just haven't been releasing anything and haven't really announced anything either. What's been going on, Brian? Earlier this year, you might remember Activision Blizzard as a corporation laid off 800 people in a big restructuring. More than 200 of those came from Blizzard. They included people from IT, marketing, customer service, publishing, a lot more. It, it really sucked. Let me cut in there, though, just real quick. It sucks. I'll never say it doesn't. People losing their jobs sucks. But it was globally, so there were a lot of customer support centers distributed all around the world. A lot of those people got two years of severance. Paid out all at once. So it sucks. But I think the hidden context there is Activision Blizzard tried to do the right thing by the people mm -hmm. they let go. Within two years, maybe they'll be coming back to work on WoW Vanilla because it's so popular. Yeah, I mean, based on the login queues, yes, they need a few more support centers now. Get paid twice by the same company. That's how, that's the American way. Or somewhere else in the world. <laughs> so Blizzard might have been vulnerable because it doesn't have any new games planned for the current fiscal year. The CFO of Activision Blizzard said in February that they expect, quote, materially lower financial performance from Blizzard this year because they're not launching anything. That's one way to share. But it. this is gonna give WoW subscriptions a spike, just depends to see if they stick around for more than one month. And as a whole, Activision Blizzard isn't doing great these days. Yeah. They said recently that they expect to bring in $1.1 billion in sales this quarter, but that's below expectations of $1.4 billion. Yeah, and they even said, we're not gonna do good. And analysts are like, got it, 1.4. And Activision's like, no. That's not what we said. 1.1. One of the biggest revenue drivers is still the good old standard Candy Crush Saga. You mean Call of Duty Modern Warfare? No, Candy Crush Saga. Okay. Which may make a lot of money, but it's probably not the game you want as the public face of your company. I don't know. I, th I think they want anything that rakes in cash. It's brand safe. Look, the question is, was it in the Emoji Movie? Yes. <laughs> Make it your brand. I don't want to know how yeah. much money that was for. They've also seen success with remakes like Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, both of which have sold pretty well. Also, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Well, I think Activision's starting to understand that they have a deep roster of properties that they can monetize heavily, so we're in that phase now. Look, Activision's been re-releasing the same Call of Duty every year for the last year. It was so got easy. Him. Bobby Kotick's putting that noose yeah. right on it. Like, they got me, they got me. Take that, <laughs> you make similar games. <laughs> My video game. Tony Hawk and Guitar Hero. Am I the only one that thinks Bobby Kotick is small? How tall is that man? It's probably small. Mm. Wow Classic, which is another re-release. Another one could be the shot in the arm that Blizzard desperately needs. I mean, it pretty demonstrably is. But the question is, for everyone out there, especially Brian, <laughs> will this last? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Like we said, it's still really early. There's a lot of speculation though that people won't like the original WoW after 15 years of quality of life improvements. Gaming just as a whole has changed a lot since then. Yeah, vanilla WoW is a lot more grindy than modern players might be used to. However, I do think it's been long enough that a lot of players want that again. It took me three hours to get to level four last night. It was insane. Was that just because you couldn't find any starter mobs to kill? They were just getting farmed? Yeah, it was, everything was mobbed. It was a lot of fun and it was fun being a part of that just mass of people. Yeah. It was kind of like an old high school reunion, but still it took forever to level up. Everybody's delirious, high-fiving, killing rabbits. Good times, man. Yeah. The point of this whole story is nostalgia is a hell of a drug. Yeah, it's intense. But games like World of Warcraft are based on a monthly fee, so Blizzard needs people to check out WoW Classic and then hang around. Will that nostalgic feeling be around month to month? Oh, bro, Burning Crusade's coming out in a month. Oh, are I, like, what, what are they gonna do now? What are they gonna do? Once everyone does the level curve and beats the raid, the raid, then it's just PvP, it's which is cool. Well, don't get me wrong. There's only one raid. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just Black Rock Spire, right? Is that the Leroy Jenkins thing? That was an Ixia, oh. I think. Wait. I just know the memes. Wait, is the question is Leroy Jenkins? Wow. No. Do you fight an Ixia in Black Rock Spire? Or Molten Core? Oh. Bobby Kodak is four foot five. Thank you. <laughs> is, wait, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of what makes MMO special are the people and the relationships you build in game. And people have gotten married by meeting in online games That's like so this. cool. It can be hard to rekindle those after more than a decade. For sure. To assist with that, Blizzard has established forums to help people reconnect with their old buddies. Ah, oh, it's like a lost connection. We while. all collectively ask, what the hell's a forum? But a lot of things can change in 15 years. People grow up, they get families, jobs. They might not let them game for several hours a day. But there's some good news 
news for WoW Classic, right, Brian? Yeah, I mean, at least one other MMO has successfully pulled off this feat, and by that I mean bringing back its vanilla version for fans who miss the old days. British developer Jagex brought back what it called Old School RuneScape in 2013, and that's worked out for him. Yeah, it now exists along the current version of RuneScape, and amazingly, Old School RuneScape is now even more popular than the original. Who knows? Maybe the same thing will happen with WoW Classic, although, in fairness, RuneScape is a much, much smaller game. I think you can play it on a calculator. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. ask nearly as much of you either. I also wanted to ask Brian, were there any like horde stomping through, uh, what is that forest called? Goldshire? I didn't see that, but I can't wait to gank people in Ironforge. Yes. That's, that's the main reason I'm doing this. <laughs> have like, just yeah, guys. going forward from here, kind of like what we were talking about, how are they gonna keep this momentum? It's been reported that Blizzard will roll out six phases of updates with new raids, dungeons, and items. Phase one will include Molten Core, and they'll continue all the way to phase six with the Next Ramus. Raid. Yep. I was the Halo guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> As for whether or not it can keep up this level of popularity, that's very hard to say. It probably won't consistently hit over 1 million views on Twitch. I don't think that's gonna happen ever again. Yeah. But this shows that there's interest, at least. There was yeah. curiosity, and certainly a lot of people just wanted to experience a simpler time for one second. Yeah, but what about you guys watching? Are you interested in going back to the WoW Classic? Are you watching us on your way back from the bathroom? If so, do you need help? Press <laughs> 1 to call yeah. someone. Did you fall? Post a comment and somebody will be there to help you. Hit your life alert now. God bless. I lost all my friends to WoW in 2004. Wow. Nobody had real friends in 2004. That's the thing nobody tells you. The mid 2000s were awful, all of your friends were fake. And a plain dynamite wasn't out yet. Maybe because their products are good, about dragons fighting each other and screaming and stuff. Cool. To becoming a corporate hellhole that just has to suck money out of its players to subsidize a sinking ship of an esports department. No! Wow. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I hope not. Saying it so, Mike. Uh, he ain't Mark. saying anything. He right. left. He left. Oh, right. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Mike Morheim boned out. Now yeah. it's Jab. Yeah. Is it a good sign yeah. when a ship is going?